Good day, Aquarius viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning into Just Be Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your awesome energy. And please click on like and subscribe. Please click on that little bell to keep you updated on when my readings post. And um, thank you for leaving a comment uh, if this resonates with you. And even if it doesn't, I'd appreciate the feedback. All is welcome. Uh, today I'm doing a general reading, a love reading for June 2022, mid-month, and um, I'm just shuffling for the Aquarius Collective for the overall energy of the reading. Spirit, what do you, what else do you have? There we go. Okay, so we have power and trust. Okay, so I immediately got that there is um, some sort of power issues or trust issues happening here. Um, maybe you're having trouble trusting in the universe, maybe you're having trouble um, with your partner. Maybe you feel like um, they have power over you or maybe you feel like they're taking advantage of you. Um, and then we have trust and I feel like you're having trouble trusting. Uh, like, I don't know, there's some reason and only you would know the reason that you're having trouble trusting in this relationship. Um, Maybe you've been jaded before. I feel like you're protected. Um, I almost feel like you are, maybe you're a tarot reader yourself. Maybe you are, um, you're spiritual or have delved into it at some point. I feel like you're trying to learn to trust again and you might be in a relationship where you're still learning and um, you are, are really trying, I feel like you are really protected. I just, I feel like this person that you're with is maybe um, has a little bit of an ego on them. Um, might try to flaunt, in fr flaunt or flirt with other people when you are around. Um, and that bothers you. But, he, like, I feel like that this person knows it bothers you. Um, because you're giving him the power to let it bother you. Okay, so let's move on. I feel like we're going to get more clarification from tarot but you can only you have the power to let people feel let people make you feel how you how you want to feel like 
yeah, okay, if they're trying to push your buttons, if they're trying to play these fucking games with you, you don't have to give them the power to, to have it bother you. Um, like, while they're peacocking around and being, you know, letting their ego take charge, you need to find the power within yourself to not let it bother you. Or to walk away. Okay, so let's uh, let's see what the tarot has to say regarding Aquarius. Here, what do you have? What messages do you have for our Aquarius collective? For their June mid-month reading. What messages do you have? For our Aquarius Collective. For June mid-month. Okay, so we have three of fire and six of fire. Yeah, did I tell you ego? Like, I feel like the Six of Fire is a card of ego. Putting themselves in the limelight, or maybe yourself in the limelight. Um, three of Fire is waiting. I feel like you've been waiting either for um your love to come in waiting for it to come to you well guess what you have to do some work too they're not just going to just knock on your door and be like i'm here like a stork delivering a baby you have to fucking get out there and do the work as well okay we have chariot um that's an action card And then we have King of Water. So that's a divine male that's full of love. So let's get to clarifying. Can you, Spirit, can you clarify the Three of Fire? Maybe that's who you're waiting for. Your divine masculine to come in. And well worth waiting for. Trusting the universe though. Not manipulating. You have to trust that they're coming in for you. Can I have more clarification on the Three of Wands? Thank you. Okay, yep, we have Temptation. And the King of Air. Um... I feel like the person, this masculine energy here, the emperor, that you've been waiting for, is going through something. Um, an addiction, maybe. Um, are they going through... Are they trying to quit something? Are they trying to break away from something? Um, you know, this could be an addiction like drugs, alcohol. It could be porn. It could be sex. It could be quitting smoking. Uh, it could be playing on their phone at night. But whatever it is that they're has their attention it isn't you and they need to cut that off if they want to to keep you in their life or maybe this is you who has this obsessive problem 
and you need to stop or whoever is going to cut you off. Um, somebody's tired of waiting. I feel like they vocalize this to you that they don't like it. And um, you're, you're cold. You're being cold to them. You're being dismissive and cold. And they, or vice versa. Um, however, that resonates for you, whatever, whatever role that plays. But yeah, there's some kind of, um, some kind of distraction there. Some kind of obsession that's blocking this relationship or that's in the middle of this relationship. There's a third party in a relationship and it's uh, whatever that obsession is. Spirit, can you clarify the six of fire? For our Aquarius collective. Six of fire for our Aquarius. Aqu Aquarius. Aquarius collective. Whoa. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so we have the page of air. which is the page of swords. So there's ideas coming to you. Um, there's a focus coming. You're focusing on, then we have the eight of fire. So good news coming in, good things are coming at you, new things coming at you. And it looks like this might be a new love coming at you. Somebody might be um, opening up to you about their feelings. Somebody might be coming to you or offering, um, you know, to take you out. I see you're being guided. I see you're going to be getting a lot of messages. I feel like it's going to be from ancestors and spirit and your um, guides and guardians. So start paying attention to signs that you might receive through personal things in your life. Okay, we have love. Um, now this could be a, um, a, ro a romance. This could be, um, also a choice. You might have more than one person, um, that is interested in your energy because, um, The lover's card used to be called the choice card. So you might have more than one person who is finding you attractive or wants to be in your energy. Ace of air. Okay, this is um, making decisions. This is looking at details, trying to see the big picture. Um, finally, like, it's almost like you, when you're like seeing somebody and you have that one special moment where you realize, you know what, I'm in fucking love. And you have like this aha moment, like, this is it. Like, oh my gosh, it's been here. So I feel like this is, this is that kind of energy. I just got the chills. Um, this is that kind of energy. You're going to find out soon, like it's going to come to you like, wow, I am um, feeling all the feels right now. Okay, we have the eight of air. But of course you can't, you know, God forbid you work on, off of that energy because getting right into your head. Yep, you're so full of love. This is self-doubt. 
And you may just have enough self-doubt to not believe that, you know, this is really happening and you walk away. That's not going to resonate for everybody. Hopefully some of you will go through and ha not have self-doubt and... Um, you know, if, the, if, if you do proceed with caution, you don't have to just completely walk away and start a new journey. Yeah, you get into your head. Look at these cards. About the love you're feeling and you walk away. Because you can't control it. You can't control who you have feelings for. You can't control who you love. So you're going to miss a good opportunity. You know what they call this? Self-sabotage. You're going to miss a good opportunity. Because you feel like you can't handle it. I don't know. I hope that only is for a couple of you out there. Okay, clarifying the King of Water is the star card. This Divine Masculine is making you feel like you are the most radiant thing. Like, has you walking away, feeling like you're on top of the world. Almost like you're on a natural high. You are the only thing that this person sees. Five of water. I'm not paying attention. Paying attention to things that don't serve you. Not looking at the bigger picture. Do you even notice when good people are doing nice things for you? Do you even notice? Or do they have to be look a certain way? Because looks fade. When people are in love with you and doing great things for you, you need to pay attention. Because the second you stop paying attention, they're going to walk away and you're going to miss an opportunity. I mean, it's all free will, I know, but I feel like a lot of people are missing opportunities because they're not keeping their, their hearts and their minds open to it. And it's so important. Spirit, do we have one more card for our Aquarius Collective? Clarifying the King of Cups, please. Clarifying the King of... Okay, yep, Empress. This is where you land. Okay, this is divine connection. If you open your mind and your heart to it, this is where we're at. But only you can get there with it. Only you. All right, so let's pull some romance cards. I love that Emperor Empress energy. Love it. Yes, please. I mean, what, what more can you ask for in a romance reading? Can't ask for anything else. Sierra, what messages do you have for our Aquarius Collective?
Okay, so we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Uh, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. All right, Aquarius, I don't think this reading gets any better than that. Um, please click on like, subscribe, press that little bell to get some uh, alerts to my lives that I've been doing a little bit more lately. Uh, if you want to book a personal reading, please see below in the description box. Uh, otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye, Aquarius.